Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another round of the 88 Lots Dollar Store Lots. So this is where you can get items for only a dollar. Yes, you have to pay for shipping, but the amount of everything in here is a dollar. I've done pretty darn well so far. Now these items are manifested. So that means a manifest means you can actually go look and see exactly what's in the boxes. I don't. I like a mystery, so I just purchase just on the fact of hope it's going to work out. Luckily, it has worked out many, many times. Now, you do need to have a sales tax exempt to shop on 88 Lots. So, not everybody has one of those. I have one for work already. Um, so, you know what? You can just live vicariously through me. You can also see the things that might be in mystery boxes later on or things I'll be bringing to the flea market or things I'll be keeping for myself. So, in this round, we have apparel. That's all it said is assorted apparel. 77 items. That's these two boxes right here. And then we have one that said shoes, glasses, and handbags, 48 items, and that came in three boxes. So $125 total plus $60 shipping, so $185 for 125 items. Pretty good, right? Well, it really depends on what's in the boxes. Now, I could open these up, it could all be like underwear or like things that people won't wear in Florida. Like, I don't know. So I always pre-open them, but I don't look inside of them. So we could all be surprised together ever fun this box is all crushed but it's only because I was climbing on it because Polo was at the top and I was trying to get kisses at the top now it's gonna be a whole bunch of it looks to me like we got a lot of the things that might be exactly the same let me get this back so this says I really say a size on this one well it should be like 500 the same thing that's, but in reality, if you purchase from them, you do not have to take this gamble. You literally just look at what's in it, and you'll know exactly what's in it. So we have just t-shirt. Brown t-shirt. No brand. It is in one of those, like, Amazon boxes. No brand. No tag. There's something on here. It says Escabo Women's Short Sleeve. Obviously, I'll try to look up whatever I can. Oh, I cut myself. Um, with the scissors. Uh, so, there's not even a size on it. Was there a size on here? No. It just says, casual short sleeve shirt, brown. And I'm guessing all of these are that. <laughs> Does one have a size? No. Okay, some of them do have sizes. So I'm guessing they're all the same. I guess I wear them to work. But these say medium. So how many do we have? I'm just going to take them out of the bags because I'm going to make sure they really are exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen. <laughs> medium <laughs> brown shirts but isn't it weird to even say like it on it that it's a medium like anywhere i don't really usually wear brown but i guess i'll be wearing these to work <laughs> if they fit well i'll be wearing them to work because i mean i can bring them to the flea market but it's like when you bring a t-shirt to the flea market you got to say that in order to make this worthwhile i have to sell it for over two dollars and i could try to put some up there for three dollars or four dollars but we'll see what is the next item? Um, Clay Bodyguard. Is that a wrapper? There's like butts on here. I don't know if I can show that. <laughs> so it's like a, a wrapper, maybe? And these, oh, sorry, and these girls. The rapper girl. I mean, it's a nice looking sweatshirt. Does it say a size on this one? This says large. Oh, is there dates on the back? Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi? I'll have to look that up. Playboy Cardi and all of his dates. What year was it? <laughs> was it this year? <laughs> was it another year? That's a random one, huh? I'm going to put it back in the bag so maybe... I can scan it maybe on Amazon. What do they have on Amazon though? Had that in there too. 
another one. So two of those. Guess not. It does say large on the outside. Two of those. <laughs> Looking like one. I sorted a pair, I see. <laughs> Like those little pirate, I was going to say wench, like a wench costume <laughs> situation. Does that have a size in it? So rando. No sizes. One size fits all. <laughs> and I think these are both the same. This says size medium. So yes, lingerie, size medium, with the thongs, and I don't know who anybody wear that. Like, that's just... <laughs> and I'm like, guessing that these are sexy dice. Yes. There's four in here? Four sexy dice. <laughs> and we got two of those. So this size medium also. So two of the nighty with the... Sexy dice. <laughs> oh, there's some underwear. Are they my size? Size small. Ugh. Thongs. They are thongs. Maybe they're stretchable. I'm not gonna fit in smalls, but yeah. I bet I can fit in these. But these are mine. <laughs> they're all size small. I mean, I don't need all of them. I could probably sell some. But. <laughs> Crazy thing is I just ordered thongs from Timu, so now I'll be able to kind of change out everything I own. Okay. <laughs> we got a couple stick-on bras. I'll take it out. Eight cup stick-on bras, but I think that even that's too small for me. That's like tiny, tiny. That's like negative A. Maybe I'm B now. Who knows? This looks different. Am I having problems here? Oh, is that how it goes? Okay. Shirt? No. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, this one's confusing me. I thought that was the, the head. Maybe not. By Uru. Size small. Whatever the heck this is. I don't know what it is. I can't. Does it go that way? I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> now we have some jeans. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be anything brand name in here. But this is my first time ever trying apparel from them. Oh, Delia's. Delia's a girl. They still have Delia's? She got a little pair of pants and comes with a bandana thing. Kind of cute. I mean, I guess Amazon sells everything. I guess these are all shelf pulls. They're not returns because they're all brand new. Now we got a pair of shorts. Another no sizer. <laughs> Is that common? I'm buying these from Amazon, not having any sizes in them. Weird. I guess maybe it's on the outside. This is size large. There's something hard in here. A belt. Fishnets. Oh, it's a whole costume. It's not a witch. Is it Wednesday Adams? <laughs> to say it on there. Sexy. No, it says women's sexy. Black with tights. I'll look it up though. Maybe you'll we'll, maybe we'll be able to find it. Here's another one. Dresser, one piece. 
Is it a robber? This is a one piece. <laughs> I'm never gonna know the size because I literally throw the bags away and then none of this stuff actually has a size in it. <laughs> I don't think that would be super flattering. Alright, this one doesn't say anything on it. It does seem strange. There's tags on it. It says extra, extra large. And it says hop fashion. Bel Air. Maybe it's supposed to be hip hop fashion. Like the Prince of Bel Air. Like dress. I don't know, guys. I mean, you gotta figure I'm getting them for a dollar. Or like with the shipping, like a dollar something. And it's a mystery to me. I could have known exactly what was in here. But I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't want. I like the gamble. This right here by Just Love. I'm the pant perfect you. I'm the pant perfect you. Yep, we got a pair of pants. Is there a size? Large. So we got a pair of size large pants. Just brown pants. Like cargo-esque. No size on this one. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Kind of like the what's what. Because you do get some gems. This one by GC. Woo. This is a long black dress. Inside medium. I don't know, it probably would cling to my stomach, but it's not bad. They said more things for mystery boxes, more things for um flea market more things for myself here's the next one this one is an, it's a nasa sweatshirt nasa exploring our uni universe beyond our stratosphere <laughs> so that's the front of it and then this is the back of it <laughs> the challenger different right this one also looks different oh this one trunks size 28 uh too bad they're too short they're too small for rob pair of some swim trunks by o'neill that's a that's a brand i mean i'll have to look up how much those are but that could be a posh marker o'neill that's a surf company as far as i know here's another one It's like a, just a kind of go around the house or after a shower kind of thing. Posh peanut. Posh peanut. <laughs> this one's a champion. Does it have official tag of champion? It does. So we got a champion. Um, it says MSRP $16. Size medium. I'm guessing that's a adult medium or kids medium. Probably kids medium. Got that. I can bring that to the flea market. That's a good brand name. And then I actually met this lady at our dumpster. She was uh, picking to try to find stuff. She doesn't live in here. And she said she picks so she can bring stuff to the homeless. She goes down to the homeless and gives a, a lot of stuff. So I was like, oh my gosh, give me your number. I gave her all the clothes I had and all this other stuff. And I told her, I was like, I'll let you know when I have a bunch of things again and you can just come over and pick them up. So Alex Vando, original. Boom. Do you have a size? Size large. Okay, Rob. I wonder if Rob wants to like a, like a blue dress shirt. I think he'd look good in blue. Now we got a hat. Security. Watch out. The mess that come to my house. What is this? This seems like a set. Is it a set of bras? It is a set of bras. Those look comfy. Is there a size? It says extra, extra large. But I bet you if I put it on, it'll fit me. This is probably like an Asian size, extra, extra large. That's why it's hard. Like people, like I, like when I put like things like this out at the flea market, I won't. Um, 
put the actual size that it says on there. I just won't put a size. So people can actually look at it and just like touch it themselves. This is the last one in this box. Bar dot. Kind of like a fancy short dress. And a size medium. Maybe I'm a large now. Who knows? <laughs> so that's the last one in on that one. And now we'll move on to number two over here. Let me clean up all these bags first and then we'll get into it. Box number two. Is it gonna be the same stuff? Different? I'm seeing something that might be the same. <laughs> these also size small. Yep, we got some more size small of the thongs. Nothing wrong with that though. Did we get this already? Size medium. Yep, so this is some more of the sexy dice with the blue thing. We got another one right here. Another one. Another one. That wasn't it. I think that's all of them. This looks new and different. Might keep that bag. A lot of times these things won't scan anymore on Amazon because they are legit shelf pulls. Like people aren't buying them anymore. First strike. Strike first. Strike hard. No mercy. Oh, that's like the Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Size extra large. Me and my dad want that. He likes his graphic tees. We got another hat. This a hat, a sort of clothing. Could be hat, yeah. Nope, bra. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Got a nice little bra. It is a uh, by Rossmay, and it is a uh, 34G. G. That is very far for me. <laughs> Next we got what seems like it might be a pair of pants. Okay. Any brand name on these? Nope, but they're extra large. Just extra large black pants. They don't really look extra large to me. Sometimes I try some of the things that are like... You see how they always do this? They cover up the real tag and put these little tags on and you can never find the stuff because the actual legitimate tag is underneath it. So if there's no actual brand name, you can't really even look the stuff up. This looks different. It's just a bathing suit top. <laughs> By Swim Solutions. Tummy control. Ooh, this is regularly $65. Size 12. $65. Not bad. What's that hat? Oh, this hat's had a day. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's like... Oh, this, this hat needs some, some work done. And it comes with a bow tie. And a cummerbund. You are wedding ready. <laughs> Cottonique Allergy Free Apparel. Allergy for your apparel. I don't know you get allergy from. Looks like they're socks. Cottonelle size large. Maybe that's why it's in this bag. How do you get it open? I made this difficult. <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah. A couple pairs of socks. Allergy free. I'll put it back in here so maybe we can find it. Allergy free socks. I heard that before. Try a little faster if we get through this and another thing. And then. Is that one of those things you like? It's just like a kimono or. I have it inside out. <laughs> like a kimono type thing. Kind of very flowy. Maybe we'll break this apart in two videos, but like one the next day, like one today and one like tomorrow. More underwear. 
I'm gonna check and see how long it is. It's like a sweater. It's definitely worth more than a dollar. Oh, this is like a sweater, like a wrap sweater. Yet again, no name, no uh, size. Are these the same? Maybe, maybe not. This is uh, by Wild Trest. Also, I think it's the swim cover up. That is my guess. Is it the same thing? Yep. It's another one of the swim cover ups. Do you have a brand name in here? I think that, that one did too. Yeah. Wild Trust. Yeah, that. This is like a hoodie. Oh, it's a friend's hoodie. <laughs> like the show friends. And this says size large. I don't know, I think it's a large. It's more like a, I don't know, medium. You can definitely tell it's that Chinese um, sweatshirt material, not the regular one. My cousins are obsessed with friends, so I'll probably will bring this up there. Is there a price on it? There's a tag I can scan, but it's no price. And then we got some jeans. Be a cool brand name. Are these overalls? Nope, jean jacket. <laughs> I was wrong all the way. This does not, I'm guessing it's a large, but there's no brand name on it. Just a roughed up jean jacket. And then this looks like a hat. Because <laughs> you're wrong, I am a lot. Oh, this is like go to the, go into church hat. It's by Dan Taya. Dan Taya. Just that goes around there. Little little church church hat. Are these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve more of these. <laughs> Anybody looking for brown shirts in bulk? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> we got those for you. For sure. <laughs> now this is Harry Potter. It looks like official Harry Potter. And this is for size 20. Size 20? Is that what it is in a different country? What does it say on here? Nothing. It does say Intimo Licensing Inc. January 2021. I do not know what size that is. Hmm. <laughs> Here's like the mechanism to blow up a costume that blows up. Or I guess you can blow up multiple things. But it's made for like a costume to blow up. Rando. I guess that's like an apparel type S thing. Oh, it's a gator. It's like one of those things you put on your, um, your face. Like to cover your face, but a baseball. <laughs> now this can't be clothing. <laughs> Maybe it's in the clothing family. There's a lot of them. Let's see what it is. It's a sash. So I guess if you were going like, oh, no, it's one of those things you wear when you um, graduate, like high school or college, to show you're better than everybody else. I don't do this. I, mean, I guess somebody can DIY it or somebody needs like satiny type material. That's definitely a different one. <laughs> then we got this right here. 
Minus five bipolar wear. Well, this is nice. This is just a little hat, scarf, and um, glove combo. <laughs> Try underwear or bra or something. Yep. Now we got some underwears. It's like trying to be sexy but also cover up. Here's another one of the yep, sexy thing with dice. Another one of the undies. And that is it. I'm going to check and see all of these videos real quick. So for $77, I really don't think that was bad at all. Like, yes, some of the things are kind of wonky or whatever, but not bad at all. I have no clue how they can do these. I mean, what price could they possibly get this stuff at to be able to sell them for a dollar piece? Or were they just items that won't sell and can't sell? Or maybe they got them for free. I don't know. <laughs> so now we're on to the, I wrote down here, the 48 items in three boxes, shoes, glasses, handbags. All I can see is hand, so I'm thinking it's women's handbags. But how could 48 items have to be in three boxes? Well, these are actually nice sized boxes. I'm going to keep these for my box mark. <laughs> so what do we got in here? Oh, now I see why it might be. I'm not thinking they're going to be like brand names. I'm just going to pull one out so I can keep it with the thing. So now we got... Pair of shoes. What size are they? They are US size 11. No real brand. Really, does that even make sense? Sudden. Wealth. Sudden wealth. <laughs> so we got a pair of those. I guess shoes do take up a lot of room. <laughs> so we got those. As if I don't have 500,000 of these. Plus was 5,001. So these are 4243s. And there's another pair of these slides, which I have a bunch of pairs of slides now that I'm a slide girl. You're not, you're not taking me out of slide world. One, two, three, four of these. Let's take a look at them. What it is. It's also a cute little bag. Is there a little of that? Is there handles? Oh, huh. that's a cute little bag. Little turtles over it. Not bad for a dollar each. And it's got a, and it's got a little even like locking put on it. Keeping one of those myself. And then there's just two more. One and two. Don't know if they're the same. We'll take a look in a second. I'm gonna put this over here. It's gotta be shoes. I've gotten some good shoes from them, and we've gotten some not so good shoes. <laughs> Are they the same? They're not. So these are Venus Cecilia. Cecilia? Venus Cecilia. They're size 10. So they look like, like a little, ooh, that's nice. A little memory foam up in there. Come in the box. They have a thing to scan, so hopefully that'll work out. And then these ones are by Charles Albert. Is there a price on these? No, but these say MSRP $48. So, okay. These are nice. And these are size 9s. Size 9s. Put that over there. Now we're going to go into box number 2. Will they all be similar? Will they all be different? I don't know. Oh, we have some boots. It's like fur line. Ah. Louise. And these say MSRP. They're by Via Rosa. And these say MSRP $54. But yeah. Some nice little boots. Uh, what size are they? They're size 10. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now we got some flip flops. Size 11, women's by Alexis Fendel. 
from Lexus Dental. Now we got some, oh, these are cute things. These are like the same as the other ones, but like the foam S. So they look like real like legit sandals by H2K 39s. Do I want to? Those might be mine. <laughs> I'm addicted to slides. This is all mostly shoes. Here we got another set of the slides. And these are 42-43. Kind of like a different color though. Homo? This is another kind of like, I don't know. Like you can tell they're not like a real legit like they're trying to be like Puma, but it's Pomo. Your size 34. Do you think? Do you think it's trying to be Puma, but they're Pomos? Bad knockoff. <laughs> Rachel shoes. Must be child. Oh, look how cute. Look at those. Little shoes. These are size 10. Kids size 10. Is there any price tag on these? No, but there's a scan thingy. Those are cute. Size 10 little tiny feet. Oh, here, finally the sunglasses. So we got a pair of sunglasses. Oops, went the other way. <laughs> Let me see them, please. You like them? What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. I'll put them back in here so maybe I can scan them. Is this probably going to be another somewhere sunglasses, maybe? Yep. This is by RS Shop. Oh, they're magnified. <laughs> Those are... What does it say on them? Plus 175. That was very, very close. <laughs> well, we got a handbag. Brought back again. Sorry. Hey. All right, let's take a look at this one. I hate when Rob sees the house like this because I totally ha have plenty of time if he wasn't supposed to come home to get it all back and orderly. This is a nice little handbag. It's got a little cat on it. <laughs> then... Is there other stuff inside of it? And they got other pieces inside of it. More little pieces. And another strap. That's not bad. But no, like, thing on it. To say, like, a brand. I'm guessing these are two more pairs. Yep, these are two more pairs of the fashion sunglasses. I'm pretty sure it's the same. We'll take a look. Yep, still the white ones. So three of those white ones. Now we got these. These are hard for. These are Gecko Man. Gecko Man. I don't know what size it is. With an unknown size. <laughs> Gecko Man. <laughs> Almost out of another one of these. A little pair. Of jelly shoes. I also don't know what size these are. By shit. Jelly shoes. You remember wearing jelly shoes? Do you remember getting blisters from jelly shoes? I do. <laughs> but still having to wear them. These are by Cupid. Which I think we got other we got other shoes from Cupid too. And they weren't like cheap at all. Here's another purse. In a dust bag and all. This is by Firenze. Firenze. It's got a code, so maybe I'll better look it up. It's kind of like a jean, but not. It's like leather, but it looks like jean. And we have one more thing in this box, and then one more final box, and then I get to work. 
This one I have to open. Are your shoes? Probably. Yep. So we have these cute little shoes. These are by Patalia. Patalia? Patalia? <laughs> cute little shoes like this. And they have a thing on here. There's 9 to 4 girl school shoes. Size 12. Let's see if we can scan that. Now let me open up the last box and then we'll see what's in there and then my work begins. Alright, we're into the final box. Another pair of slides. And these are 38, 39s. So this is my size. We got some cute little, um, no fun to take them out. Cute little slippers. These don't have a, they say 37, 38. Cute little slippers. Another pair of slides. These are 38, 39s also. This one's wrapped up real good. These are just more slippers. Yeah, just some more slippers. And these are size large, 9 to 10. These are different also. No brand name. I can't really even read anything about a size. <laughs> These will definitely be roughed up with like slidey slider pins. This uh Psycho Kids? Psycho? Psycho? <laughs> Oh, these are cute little patent leather going to church or whatever shoes size three so it's like the like infants have their own size and then kids have their own size and then adults have their own size oh is this a milk bag i used to have something like this it is look at this milk bag and inside you got the straps and everything in here. Pure milk, 100%. 750 milliliters. Is that the actual size of the counter? Of a, of a thingy? Sorry about that. <laughs> Next we got this. Seems to be on a... Oh, isotoner. These are actually, I think, are sensitive, or at least these are small mediums. Oh. Those are like real nice. And on the suggested retail, it says $30. So, okay. <laughs> now we got some kid shoes. One, two, three pairs of these kid shoes. And they are size 140, 160, 140. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Maybe it's just another, I think I've gotten shoes before that had like a weird thing and I think it was a, it was an Asian size. Here's a shoe. One, two, three. More of the bags. They look pretty nice too. I'm going to leave these in here just in case the glitter wants to come off. <laughs> these are also by H2K. And they are size 10. Those are fancy. Now we got size large 910. 910 little slippers for the kiddos. For the little kiddos. Are you another pair of one of the ones we saw already? Nope. These are city classified. Size 10. I'm going to need people with size 10. I can make a size 10 bundle. <laughs> Something. I'll figure it out. Here's more of the sunglasses. Let me make sure that they're white. No. This is a different pair. Oh. This is just a clip-on thing. Not extra sunglasses. <laughs> Are these all that? 
Nope, white again. White. 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 <laughs> and then for the final finale, which I didn't see before, another one of these. So yet again, I don't feel like you ever can go wrong. If you're, like I call myself a mini reseller. I don't, I'm not like hardcore going on eBay trying to sell things, you know, like waiting it out. I kind of want to get things, read things as soon as possible so I can get more things in. Because that's the fun. The fun part is the opening for me. I don't know about for you, but that's the fun part for me. So yeah, so I'll try to look up some of the things, see if I can find anything. If I can't, we all we already know that everything is worth over a dollar. It's probably over two dollars. So, so I'll link eighty eight loss down below if you have a resale certificate and want to check them out. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep buying if I see them out. I'm like I'm gonna take a break now. I think because I still have a beauty one over there I got to do at some point. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. If you haven't yet subscribed. I don't know why I dressed up all like America today. I just did. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.